And obviously we're here in for Security Europe today in London. Uh, what are some of the talking points you've been having with customers that they've entered today? Yeah, it's a really good question. So we're very uh, well known within the bug bounty space. Uh, Hacker One's been going for 10 years now. Um, but actually, you know, what a lot of organizations are, are struggling with is to, to manage vulnerabilities throughout their uh, software development lifecycle or that pipeline. So, you know, what we're, conversations we're having today is what are people doing earlier in that stage? What are they doing for code review? What are they doing in pen testing? So we've been having a, a lot of conversations to try and see where we can help organizations wherever they need that, that help. And what are some of the challenges that companies are facing uh, when it comes to protecting themselves in 2023? Yeah, totally. So if you find a vulnerability and it might exist within your code base, uh, or you find a vulnerability in, in an application that's already been um, pushed out to production, how do you consolidate that view? So it's a really hard thing to do, right? So what we're trying to do is allow customers to see all of these vulnerabilities wherever they lie throughout the life cycle uh, and given that consolidated view. That sounds great. And one of the hot topics we've been hearing quite a lot about the event today is AI. How is AI impacting cybersecurity? That's a great question. So firstly, there's loads of hype in that area. There's a lot of exciting development. But when it comes to ethical hacking, we see AI as a tool to enable our hackers. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. We should hopefully see an increase in efficiency with our ethical hackers and our red teamers to be able to help organizations. So I certainly see that trend as a really positive thing, but it's also about helping organizations understand what does that mean for them? You know, separating the, the hype from the reality. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, and obviously, when it comes to AI, like any new technology, there is the risk of, you know, it getting into the wrong hands. Are yeah. you seeing any of that happening already? So I think when it comes to, certainly right now, ChatGPT is all over the news. And ChatGPT is an LLM, you know, so it's a large language model. And it's great at producing text. When it comes to ethical hacking and security, where does that actually help people? And to be honest with you, there is a, there is a worry there with regards to phishing emails, creating more and more sophisticated phishing emails. And, and I trust me, I definitely agree. We need to make sure we stay on top of that, develop our email security, develop you know, our processes there. When it comes to hacking, I wouldn't say that ChatGPT or any of those types of technologies specifically offer uh, much of a threat. The, as I said, they'll be able to use these tools to help automate boring processes like finding information, performing reconnaissance. But certainly, I, I don't think what we're seeing specifically with that type of AI is a worry to, our, to displace our hackers or something that our, you know, our organizations that we work with should be worried about.